Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Risk of Rain. I am Rarquaza, and uh, today we're going to be doing a challenge run brought to us by YouTube user Aaron Mahin. Uh, apologies on pronunciation as always, I've never, you know, I don't know man, I don't know. Aaron Mahin, Mahin, Mahin. I think Mahin is like stand. That that seems seems right. Anyway, the point is, uh, we're gonna be playing a challenge run. I think that this one is very, very. It's an interesting idea, and I really like it. Uh, that he he calls it one and done. Uh, we can play any character. Artifacts can be anything, uh, but command. He says command, glass, and sacrifice should be at least on. I'm gonna agree with him with sacrifice and command. Um, what I'm not going to agree with is uh, I, I don't think that we should have glass on. And well, let me explain the challenge. We can take any items we want. In fact, we have to pick up all the items that drop. However, we may only take one item from each tier per level, and we cannot take it again uh, afterwards on that level, or afterwards in general, regardless of how many that we got on that stage. So. On the first stage, if we get like a tier 1, we have to choose with that first tier 1 drop what our tier 1 drop is going to be. And then, regardless of however many other tier drop tier 1 drops, they all have to be the same as that one that we chose. And uh, then, from then on, we won't be able to pick up that item. It'll be on our item log and we won't be able to choose from that, uh, that item on any other stage uh, after that. And then, uh, if, if like, there's like a tier 2, then we would choose a separate tier 2 and, uh, you know for that stage and etc. Um, so the reason that I'm not going to take glass is because I think glass would make it a little bit too easy uh, considering that um, in, in his example he used it and he cited infusion as the tier 2 drop and if we're, we're going to be taking infusion then I want to uh, be taking not glass. <laughs> glass makes uh Oh wait, hold on, okay. Wait, wait a second. I wanted some other... I was thinking we should have Spite on to kind of balance a little bit. Um, and then that's all I'm gonna do. We're not gonna take Origin. That would give me an extra item every 10 minutes. Uh, okay, yeah. So, um, if, if you're a little bit confused by how the challenge run works, I'll explain it and it'll make more sense when we're actually doing it. Uh, I think... Oh man, okay, we don't have glass on. <laughs> Just relax. Uh, so, we don't actually have to choose what items um, we're going to pick until we open a box. Uh, but I'm going to try, as soon as an item uh, drops, I'm going to kind of try and figure out what item I want. So that I can't, like, cheat by uh, waiting till all the, all the possible drops. Wow, look at all these enemies. All the possible drops have dropped. Uh, oh my god. The noises. The noises from these enemies. Holy crap. Okay. Um. So, like, for this, I don't know what tier 1 we would want, to be honest. Uh, tier 2 is probably gonna be infusion. It, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, how many infusions we get that the first one just having one is so powerful um, that that would probably be the pickup that I would choose for tier ones it depends I might oh I don't know there's there's something to be said for getting like bustling okay we have one I think I would probably like to get either Goat Hoof or some... He oh, Jesus. A tier 3. Okay. Hold on. Let's let's kill these guys and kind of make, make it a little bit safer for ourselves. Tier 3. Man. Okay. Um, let me see. Okay, let's... Oh, no. That's really bad. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do alien head. I think. Yeah, okay, we're doing alien head, and because we picked up two items, uh, we have to pick up a completely useless item for this. Oh, shoot! 
Okay, okay. This is how we fix this. Um. Oh god. Okay, we're we're doing this. We're doing damage control here. I'm gonna get Rusty Jetpack as my first tier. Oh god. You know what? We're restarting. That was that was poorly planned. I don't I don't even know what I'm doing. I got I was flustered. <laughs> I was flustered. I, I, cause I wanted to pick Infusion as my tier two. I don't know what was. I was trying to think of. Oh, I need to get over that. That item so that I can reach the other side. Um, without accidentally picking up the wrong tier one. But instead, we ended up. Uh, rusty jetpack. Cause we could have taken a ladder on the right. Anyway, we'll just uh, start over here. That was kind of badly played, and the stacked items are kind of annoying. I guess that is a, a problem with a potential problem with this this run with a uh, command or sacrifice rather not command command is not the issue um, but we will hopefully do better this time that's all we can do I missed that tier one or tier three we're probably not gonna get another one of those on the first stage that's too bad uh, but hopefully we'll get a, a better chance to figure out what we're doing here. Um, so in terms of tier threes, probably Alien Head, I'm, maybe Brilliant Behemoth would be really good, because that wouldn't matter if you got more than one. So that might actually be my choice. Hit List is another possibility uh, for just like, because you have to understand that we never get it again, so I don't know. Heads. Something like Alien Head would be like what I would really want, but I I want to maximize the chances of getting two. I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter that much because the the chances that you would get two drops on the same stage are probably not very not very high. Um. Okay. Maybe it might be a good idea to pick up uh, as my tier one uh, bustling fungus. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's see what this vagrant drops. Tier two. Okay, so we're gonna grab infusion actually. Um, I'm gonna kill these guys and then grab infusion. We're losing three health, but that's okay. Please just die. All right. Good. So now we can only take Infusion as a tier 2 for the rest of this stage. But that is totally fine with me. Okay. Doing fine here. Oh, use items. I didn't even think about that. That's interesting. Um, so nothing is said about that in the challenge. Maybe we should try and change our use item whenever one drops or something? Or if a use item drops during a new stage, we then have to pick it up. Wow, we only got one item. Well, I guess including this, that's two. I don't know how we're going to roll with this. That's really interesting. Uh, I guess we'll pick up this. You know, maybe we just will we'll roll with this use item. Um, oh, okay. Captain's Brooch will... We'll just stick with this for the challenge run, and that'll be fine. Then use item won't be an issue. Uh, we also won't get the benefit of a use item, but that's fine. Um, so now we should be getting one and a half health per kill. Uh, by itself, that's not a terribly great setup, but it will, you know, later in the game, and for the final boss and stuff, that's going to be really helpful. So I think this is the right choice. Tier 2 wise, next I'm looking at uh, Golden Gun, because that's an item that regardless of how much, how many of it you get, it's going to be useful uh, for the damage. Obviously the more the better, but eventually it shouldn't matter how many we have. Uh, my house is vibrating, that's weird. I blame my neighbors. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, please, house, don't vibrate. That's not good. 
Hopefully there's not like an earthquake going on. Anyway, other possible tier ones that I'd like to get. Um, why is my house vibrating so much? It doesn't usually do this, I swear. I don't know. The thing about tier twos is there's so many that are really good. I'm interested, I would be really interested in getting a rusty jetpack as well. Um, even just one of those is going to be super useful for dodging uh, because we are the mercenary. Hold on. What the heck? I can't even tell. Is there like music going on? Are they playing the funky music loud now? Are they playing it right? Are they laying down their boogie uh, and playing that funky music till they die? I think they are. I can't even tell. I'm sorry if that actually... You can hear that in the video. Uh, what am I doing? I'm wasting time. $170. Okay, well that'll be gettable eventually. We're wasting a lot of time, but we also... We wasted basically all the time that we had saved in the first stage, which is, you know, re not really good. Another good pickup would be 56 Leaf Clover. Uh, and Guardian Heart, for that matter. Um, okay, hold on. I really hope that that doesn't... I'm, I'm assuming that it doesn't show up in the video. Or you can't hear it in the video. I'm just gonna hope to God. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. It's like, it sounds like whales. If whales were doing rock music, then that's what it sounds like. Um, I have no clue. It's, it's driving me batty. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pause the video and check it out. I might close my window. Hold on. Okay, uh, I am relatively certain that the whale music is- it's- it's whale rock. It cannot be heard by the video recording software, and so it's probably good. Um, ow. Holy crap. When did we take that much damage? I guess from the, uh, the wisp. Okay, I don't like this shock elite. That concerns me a little bit. Also, the amount of damage that we're taking is kind of... Staggering. Okay. Um, there's a lot of enemies here. That's a little scary. I think we're doing fine. Uh, let's get this guy to come over here. Yeah, just like that. Just get him stuck in the wall here. Uh oh, missiles. My favorite. Oh god, there's so many. I'm so happy. So happy. Oh my god. It's a joy apocalypse. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. about time to ditch. There's gonna be tons of enemies up here. That's perfectly fine. Oh, okay. Yep. It's just, it's fine. It's fine. We're good. Uh, a couple more seconds left, and then the timer will stop, and then we'll be able to make some progress against this massive horde of freaks. Oh, I'm sorry, did I call you freaks? Okay, whale music. Calm yourselves. It's making me vibrate in strange places. I feel like, you know, one of those old parents from, like, you know, I don't know. When did they, like, not like rock music again? What years were that? Oh, crap. Okay, we got the imps by themselves, but, like, you know, oh, we hate the rock music because it's spreading negative moral values or whatever. Feel like one of those people, but I don't actually dislike rock music. It's just you know not while I'm recording. Not that they can know that, so really it's not a, too big of a deal. Okay, we got a tier one. I'm thinking maybe bustling fungus, uh, alternately goat hooves. We'll, we'll think about it. I guess there's not really a way that I'm going to be able to grab it 
I mean, we could try and commit right now. I guess if I were to commit right now, I think I would want Bustling Fungus. Um, just so that we have a healing source. Okay. This is a perfectly safe way of uh, doing things here. But I live dangerously. Oh no! Okay, so here's what we're gonna do instead. We're going to get the tier 3 that we want and then uh, deal with the consequences of that. Okay, the way that, you know, there is a way... Actually, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's kill these spitters over here and then we can deal with the enemies. Or with the items that are up here. Um, because there may be a way that we can actually choose what we want there more accurately. But let's kill the spitter and the missile lead first. Okie doke. Alright, so here's what we do. Okay. Never mind, that didn't work. Uh, but we can get Hit List and Bustling Fungus. So maybe we'll do that. And then we'll just get Bustling Fungus for all of our other items. Nice. And with this many Bustling Fungus, we should be able to heal very quickly whenever we need to. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, 100 health. That's uh, pretty darn good. And there are still possible items here. Okay, that's dangerous. Don't want to get caught under that area. We got a hit list. I don't think I'm going to make it, but... Well, it was worth a shot. Uh, I Use item doesn't matter. We're not going to change it. Good. Okay. Things are dead. Oh man, I was trying to get some of them to fall down, and I did exactly that. Okay, so never. Alright, uh, let's actually go back up here, grab this chest, see what it is. Okay, so tier 2, we haven't gotten a tier 2 on this stage yet, so I'm thinking, how about. 56 leaf clover. You know, even just having one of those may give us more items in the long term. Uh, it also might not, but whatever. Nice, we gotta hit this proc. I'm taking some damage. Um, I'm d I doubt I'm gonna hit that guy. Oh, we got another one. Sweet. Okay, hold on. So what we do here... I'm going to heal a little bit, just so that he doesn't kill us. And we heal, like, a fifth of our health every time we, uh, get a hit list. Or, not hit list, but a, uh, bustling fungus proc. Okay, hold on. We're going to wait till the next hit list proc. There we go. Awesome. And we get, uh, our tier one is this. Good. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. There was a, an item over to the right. We're going to grab it. Uh, from the, the brooch. No sense to be wasting possible items. And it's not even possible. It's guaranteed. I think we can afford it. Because I think it's only like $100 or something. So anyway, I think uh, things are going well. Okay. So another bustling fungus, that's great. Six is like a ton. We're uh, gonna heal about a quarter of our health, probably even more. 168, yeah, so probably a third of our health? I don't know, I can't math. No, that's, that's less than a third, that's about a fourth. Yeah, something like that. Maybe a little bit over a fourth. Well, a fourth of 600. 
would be 150, right? So that's a little bit under a fourth, never mind. But still, that's a that's a large amount. Um, so here we're just gonna try and find the teleporter quickly. We can no longer get any of the items that are present down there on our screen. Five dollar chest, one dollar for every day. Oh, nice, we made it. Whirlwind, thank you. Helping me parkour. All right, feeling good. Feeling good. Tier one's here. I, I'm thinking about um, goat hoof. Probably will be what I'm gonna grab. Okay, there's the teleporter. Let's go up here on this nice platform bridge area. Okay, we have two vagrants, which kind of scares me a little bit, but it shouldn't be too bad. Um, if we can get them by themselves, we might have to kite around forever. At least until the timer stops, but that's fine. I'm totally down with doing that. If we can, actually, the ideal circumstance, yes! Okay, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna deal with just the vagrants first. Okay, and in this way we can murder the boss without worrying about anything else, aside from possible missile elites. Yep, like that. We might end up niching from this spot, uh, just because of the missile leap buildup. But that's fine. I'm down with that. We might just be fine like this. Although we are at half health. Uh-oh. Okay. It's probably time to ditch. Alright. Um... So we don't have bustling fungus available, but that should be okay. We're just gonna run everybody away. Just kite them around, wait for the timer to stop. We don't have to summon Akrid. Oh, okay. Oh, ow. That hurt. There are 69 enemies left. The perfect amount. That was misplayed. Okay, we're going to... Uh, now that the enemies are... The remaining enemies are done. Or the enemies are done spawning, so... That means that we can fight the vagrants on our turf and our terms. Which means that we should be just fine from now on. I, this elite is annoying. Speed elite teleporting to me, but that's okay. I can deal with him. I'd love him to roll forward so that I can eviscerate. But uh, that's fine. We're doing well. Taking a little bit of damage, but that's fine. We have lots of health. Um, oh, that was bad. I missed somehow didn't get the reset on the dash. Okay, that elite is dead. That's good. Now we just have vagrants themselves. And they seem to have fairly close to the same health, and so as a result they've stayed in sync. Um, they weren't like alternating nematocyst nozzle shots. That's good. We have a tier 2 that I've neglected to say anything about as of yet. Uh, what do we want from here? Let's think about this. Maybe golden gun? Maybe jetpacks? It might behoove me 
charge field generator, I think, might be good. I think I'm going to take charge field generator. Uh, the reason I'm taking charge field generator is to prepare for the inevitable flying enemies that we're going to face on uh, stages after this one. Because if we can't deal with them super effectively, then we're not going to be having a good time. I, 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 I think the next item that I'm going to need to take is Rusty Jetpack. But that's the next item that I want to take, at the very least. I could also use, like, a healing item. That might be if we get tier 1s. Might be something that I consider. Um, what would I grab? Monster Teeth. Right? That's really good. Maybe, I don't know. Goat Hooves may be way more important than Monster Teeth, though. So, uh, I don't know. I think we're gonna go for goat hooves. This is a lot of freaking humans. Okay. So let's grab another charge field generator. So that is what we're getting on the stage. I don't remember. Oh man, look at all these enemies. Wow. Holy crap. Hey, everybody, come right here, and then we're going to do one of these. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is crazy. Alright, giant freaking mob. I didn't do it, I swear. We're going to mainly use our dash to go through this thing. There are just so many enemies. Uh, now that we've killed something, this should oh, start this really nice chain. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Charge field generator doing work now. Oh yes. regained our uh, our frames per second which is pretty sweet okay feeling a lot better about things I think we're gonna make it please kill it kill it yes got it went to uh, kind of low health there but that's fine wow 200 health all right so tier ones we're going to grab I'm gonna stick with goat moves I think Goat hooves are nice because they're going to increase our you know, survivability, ability to dodge, um, and also it increases the length of our dashes. So that's really good uh, for damage and staying alive during dashes and stuff. So goat hoof, I just want to make sure that I'm not screwing anything up here with the items. I don't want to accidentally take something and regret it. Right. Whale song next door, man. The whale song is real. Oh! I was distracted by the whale. I didn't. Oh no. I've I know this. It's the trap. You don't you don't do that with the engineer mercenary. God damn it. I knew I knew that I wasn't supposed to do that. 
That's something that I've learned already that you don't do. You don't dash. Oh, God. God damn it. You can't do it with golems or crabs. It doesn't work. You'll get one shot. God damn it. Oh. So what I did there, I mean, you could you watched it and you could rewind it, but I, I went this way, and then I dashed back, dashed left, and then dashed back in and, and attempted to whirlwind my way onto that platform. That doesn't work. You can't do that. You can't do that. I was being greedy and going for the damage. You can't do that with the mercenary. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I'm so mad. That upsets me so much. We were doing fine. That sh that should have been a win. Honestly, we were we were doing just fine. That was the shittiest way to die. Oh my god. I'm so mad about that. I'm going to Okay, you know what? Aaron Mahin Your your idea was great. Thank you so much. Oh my god. I'm gonna do that run again at some point. I, there's a lot of runs that I want to do again, but uh, that one in particular I think could be... It's like a really good uh, structure for a challenge run. I really like it because you can you can do so many different things with it, even with the, you know, the same character, but with different characters, you know, that just adds a whole nother level. So uh, I'll probably end up doing that one again. Um, I would just like to say that uh, I am currently, like, as the as of the time that this video goes live, um, I am in, I'm on vacation for the week, so, uh, I, I, pardon me for the breaks in upload schedule, you know, I'll be back on, like, Sunday the, no, 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 that's wrong, I get back, like, Friday the 20th or something, so I'll have videos, regular schedule will be back, uh, the weekend of the 21st. Uh, but uh, hopefully, you know, I've not, I've only taken like day breaks in between videos, I think. Um, but yeah, so thank you to uh, the viewers, all you guys rock. If you like the video, please uh, hit that like button, it helps me out a great deal. Also subscribe if you have not already for more videos from myself. And um, be sure to, you know, check me out on Twitter, I'll just pimp that. At Rarquaza, follow me there, I, uh, you know... Sometimes tweet some things that are sometimes hilarious, so be sure to do that. And then join my Steam group, which is Rakwaza's group on Steam. And uh, be sure to hit your or put your challenge run suggestions in the comments section. Thank you guys so much. I'm sorry that I threw so hard there. You don't ever dash into them. The fir I'm so mad. I'm so mad. That was mine. That was my that was that was my run. I was doing fine. We were doing just great. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 Maybe 15. There might even be 15. I don't know if there were enemies over here, but there we you can't get hit by 15 crabs. Oh no. I'm so pissed. Okay, well thank you guys for watching. I've talked far too much. I'm pissed. Laters, people. Laters. See you next time. I'm ending the video now. Okay, bye. Later. I'm stopping it, I swear. I'm pissed. I'm freaking god damn it. 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 I'm so mad. Oh yeah, I got Providence, the Providence log. Um, it was due to a co-op bug that I did not get it originally. It's pretty freaking sweet, this art though. Um, but then in Broad Day SK's stream, I got it. Uh, it had to, we had to have played with a person who had not yet gotten Providence's monster log and beaten Providence and had it drop for them and then I pick it up, even though it's invisible for me. And that, that sequence of events happened for me. That's the only way I could have gotten the log and I did. So that's pretty cool. Uh, now 100%. Pretty sweet.
Alright guys, fuck everything. That is all.